Hey guys, I am back after a little hiatus. Uh, if I sound a little weird, I just got back from the dentist and they gave me uh, some Novocaine, some cavities, so I might have a little bit of slur to my words, but it might get a little bit better as the video goes. I put that right in the water. Weird little signal to start, but it's the first signal, so I figured I'd turn you guys on. Uh, I got a couple new things going on now. Yeah, this doesn't sound so good. Uh, I got a new uh, scoop handle from my lovely wife, Ingrid. We'll see how she does. Definitely got a little flux in her. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of flux. Um, and I, one of my viewers actually said, I need to get a sock for my mic. So I was like, what do I go into my sock drawer and duct tape some gym socks to my GoPro? But I looked it up and they actually have uh, socks for mics. So I ordered one. So hopefully it sounds a little bit better. I think we have a nickel if I had to guess. I don't know what that is. Some sort of, it looks like almost like a bearing. I mean, I could call it a ring and say my first find is a ring, maybe. But, that'd be a pretty ugly ring. Alright, well we're back and hopefully we get some more signals. Got a little faint low tone already. So we'll definitely dig that. Usually these end up being fishing gear. Yeah, I'm uh I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna have to cut this handle down. It's it's like up to my chin almost. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I don't see a ring, so I think we can assume that is fishing tackle. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Just some junk. Look at the size of that bad boy. I'm not even gonna start again with the jellyfish. I'm just gonna move on. Stay in, stay in your place, jelly. All right, not the best signal, but you know, it's like a solid 17. I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be a chipped up penny. I'll let you know what I get. I sure called that one. Shipped up penny. It's a weird jumpy one here. It doesn't sound that good. But I'm gonna dig for a little while and let you know if I get anything. I'm guessing it's just a deep penny. Alright, I've got a little signal. It comes when I go like one way. It gets like a 24. lost it it's really deep oh i gave up on that last penny by the way i didn't even go for it i kind of lost it it sounded worse than this there it is all right i'm gonna dig on this it's probably gonna be at least like a foot deep so i'll get back to you all right i got it it was probably 10 inches deep somewhere over here it's sounding very dimey now Yep, that's our uh, that's our first usable coin. Oh no! What the heck? Oh, there it is. That seashell looks like a dime. 
All right, we are on the board. All right, there's a light, a light, light little six there. That's what we like to hear. Uh, actually, it's probably gonna be shallow, so I'll just stick it live. Yeah, all these uh, guys on the west coast right now, they're all finding like five gold rings on their on their hunts. I'm finding like a quarter and a broken penny. They had a nice storm and they're finding some good stuff. And my two favorite um, west coast channels are uh, Robert Ferguson Metal Detecting and uh, Monterey Magnet Man. I watch a lot of I watch a lot of metal detecting. Uh, a lot of them are in Florida though too. And then Merrill up in New York City, he's good. All right, this might just be like a little fake out. Oh yeah, just a little piece of foil or something. I couldn't really tell you what that is. Not anything we're after though. Check it out, I found a little piece of jewelry here. It's uh, I think it's copper. It's ringing up like a 14 though, but uh, nothing great, but a little, little flower shaped pendant or something. So yeah, we got some jewelry today. This is a really jumpy, crazy high pitch one. Usually when I dig on these, I end up not getting to them because they're like a huge chunk of like a dock or a boat or something that are probably like, Two and a half feet down. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get this one. It's just been kind of slow. So we'll we'll see what she is. Yeah, I think I think if I cut this shovel down um, right above the brand, I'm gonna cut about four inches off of this thing. I think it'll be good. And I hope that wind socks helping the sound quality. Although my Novocaine definitely is not, but. Um, yeah, because this thing's not very fun to use. Like, you have to dig your fingers between the squishy styrofoam crap. Yeah, I might be digging on this one for a while, so I'll let you know what I get. Alright, I got my scoop stuck down there on something big. My other scoop, I broke it on uh, doing the same thing. So, I'm going to try not to break this one, but I'm going to try to get it out. I pulled this out. I don't know what the heck it is. I think that's it. Oh no, there might be more. It was iron the whole time. Let's see what this is. It looks like it's brass. That's kind of cool. Whatever it is. It's not going to be cool to carry this around now because, I mean, this is like, that's eight pounds. Well, there's some markings and stuff on it too. I don't know, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna um, do a little more research on this, but I'm kind of pumped about it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's like some sort of, it's like fancy bowl maybe, really old school. Uh, and I lied, it's not eight pounds, it's probably like two, but it is really heavy for its size, so I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can tell me. I'm gonna say it's an ancient Mayan artifact, though. Turn you off for this low tone. It's a nice five six. I like that number. Could be a nice little thin ring. And low tones are always, yep, first scoop.
I do not see a ring. Uh, some sort of like, you know what? That's like a little Bob Marley pop leaf. <laughs> I don't know what you do with it. it it might have been a pendant at one time, but, oh no, I don't know what that is actually, that's not a pot leaf. Maybe it's like a Indian headdress, I don't know, kind of cool though. This is another weird one, I have no clue what I'm trying to dig up right now. It's just kind of jumpy, bleepy, there's like some 15s over here, 23. There's a lot of iron in it too. I probably shouldn't dig it, but I'm going to. Well, it's our old friend, Mr. Tent Steak. There's usually a good chance of that one. It's pretty irony like that. But hey, we'll get it off the beach. Here's something jumpy. There's like 15, just a 35 popped up, 24. Uh, I'm gonna dig it and, show it and let you know what I get. It, uh, it just ended up being some iron, rusty, and oh, it's pointy. So it looks like some sort of jewelry maybe, but actually I have no clue what this is. Pointy though, don't want to touch that. There's something loud and jumpy, 21 to like 29 and a 34. I'm thinking it might be like a penny and a quarter. Yeah, there's a penny on this side. All right, here's here's the penny. And that might be it. It was ringing up really high though. There were some high numbers, but I don't know. I guess my detector just got excited. I think it's copper though. Something really jumpy. 12, 13, 18, 22. I'm going to dig on it for a little bit and let you know. Alright. This one's going to remain a mystery. It turned into mostly just iron. And it's deep. Take like two more scoops and I'm quitting on it. There's something kind of jumpy and high tone here. Is it like a 32, 18? It might be a quarter. Alright, I'm gonna dig a couple times on it. This is tiny. It, it was just iron, tiny little iron, really sharp though. So glad I'm getting it off the beach. Alright, this sounds. 26 to 33, oddly similar, similar to that last iron we just found, but it could be a quarter, so I'm going to at least take a couple scoops on it. Oh yeah, it's starting at 29, clear 29 now. That might be our first quarter. Yeah. Check her out. First quarter of the day, we have a quarter, a dime, and a penny now. Woohoo! Check this out. 12, 13, there was a 14, so it could, could be a bottle cap or pull tab, but I'm hoping it's our nickel, which is, uh, that's all we need for the cycle here. <laughs> and it's crazy, I think we'll have just one of each, too. No multiples. Yeah. The psycho. All right, here we have another twenty-nine thirty. Should be another quarter. Found a little coin line, maybe. Yep, 
Another quarter. There's some dolphins out there. I don't know if you can see them, they're a little far. Right yonder. But yeah, everyone was stopped on the beach looking. I didn't know what was going on, so I started looking too. There were dolphins. Like, perfect day for January. Oh, there's something going on. It's like 70 and sunny. And mid late January, wherever we are. Tough to be. We just had like a 15 dug pretty deep on it and it came out like uh i don't know i'm gonna call it a homemade ring out of like copper uh not very pretty though whoever made it sorry but yeah i'll call it a ring why not all right i'm just heading to my car now we're done but 29 looks like we got a quarter for the road Good way to end the day. Pretty good hunt too, I'd say, with that bowl is like one of the coolest things I've found. And yeah, take a nice shiny quarter too to end of the day. All right, um, I'll do a quick wrap up when I get home. All right, let's do a little wrap up here. Um, here's the trash, a tent stake, uh, copper wire, some junk pennies. I don't know what that is and my ring uh we're just gonna call that junk too it's not that nice and i threw out the rest of the stuff um and this is junk too i think this is from a fidget spinner now that i see it it's like a bearing from a fidget spinner i think uh we did have these two little pieces of jewelry this one is pretty junky this one's kind of cool though i think it i think it's a pot plant i don't know um 75 cents with the quarters, a diamond nickel, and I believe that's a copper penny and a zinc penny. And then the main attraction, the bowl. So I talked to a couple guys out there. Uh, one uh, identified it as being machined. So he says it's not that old, but a little research showed that it is called a Tibetan singing bowl. And it's used for like meditation. And you take a mallet, in this case I have like a, a spoon, and I'll do a little demonstration. And then you can like, they say you can do like around the edge for like a different sound. Maybe you need like a specific mallet for that. But, I can ding it. Uh, and... A new one and it goes anywhere from like thirty to two hundred dollars. Uh, I'll probably keep it. It's pretty cool. Um, but if I were to sell it, I'd probably put a value of like fifty bucks on it. I would think, maybe a little more. Do a little more research on it. But yeah, pretty cool find. Uh, I'll call that a good day of beach metal detecting. You don't find stuff like that very often. So yeah, till next time.